Kia ora everybody, welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Uh, great to see you all again, uh, and thank you very much for voting on the latest uh, poll for the country spotlight. Uh, here we are today, and I'm sure you can already see uh, what this is from the title and thumbnail, uh, but for those who haven't or gone and blind, we are going to be looking at the country of Greece today, which beat out Sweden by I think 1% of the vote out of the 500 votes or so we got. So thank you very much for voting, I appreciate it a huge amount. Uh, I've got some good quizzes lined up, and uh, we will have a poll up for the next uh, country spotlight for next week in a few days. Um, bit of a busy week for me, uh, I've got uni on and a few other little bits and pieces happening and of course the Olympics starts on uh, Friday as well. So I'm going to have uh, some special Olympic themed quizzes coming out this week which should be amazing. Anyway, without further ado, let's hop into Greece, ancient and modern, and uh, see how much we, uh, we know about this wonderful country. So I have five quizzes lined up here, we'll see how many we can get to. Uh, the first one I thought I was going to do is a slide, uh, a sortable quiz. Uh, we've got uh, 10 different categories, 10 largest Greek islands, uh, we have 9 Prime Ministers of Greece, 8 Greek dishes, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, National Holidays, Greek football teams, countries that border Greece, 3 Sports Greece ones medals out at the Olympics, seems relevant, two Greek bands of beer, and one Oscar-winning Greek composer. So I think we should be aiming for close to 100% on this. Okay, without further ado, let's do the composer, which of course is Vangelis. He uh, wrote the music for Chariots of Fire, I think. Uh, largest Greek islands. Let's come back to that one, because I'm not... Oh, actually, no, let's do the ones we know. It'll be more fun that way. So we're going to have... Yubawa, uh, Delphi, maybe? Crete, Corfu... Uh, Lemnos is an island, Lesbos is an island, Naxos, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have Samos, maybe? Rhodos, I guess that's the Greek name for Rhodes. Uh, cool, and I'm not sure of the rest. I have been to Greece once, but it was a little while ago. I went in 2006 to Athens and Thessaloniki, which was amazing. I took the... Um, ferry from the south of Italy, like uh, Brindisi I think, or Bari maybe, to Piraeus and then Athens and then the train to Thessaloniki and on to Istanbul. Really awesome country and I would love to go back at some point. I know it's been a rough um, decade for Greece with their financial struggles and uh, changes in government and the rise of right-wing Nazi, well fascists basically, uh, but let's not get into that too much. Let's celebrate the awesome things about Greece. Uh, nine Prime Ministers of Greece, uh, not really my strong point. I did see um, uh, Cyprus here, who was one of the uh, Prime Ministers after the financial um, collapse there. Okay, Greek dishes. We should be able to know, uh, work this out. Okay, great. Uh, so, let's see. Giros, which I think is Hieros or Gyros. Definitely not Gyros. Moussaka <laughs> um, is a Greek dish. Let's see, what else do we have? Suvlaki, yep, uh, kind of like a kebab type thing. Satsiki, which is a um, dip, but I'm not entirely sure what it's made of. I want to say maybe eggplant, but I could be wrong about that, don't quote me. Uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites on the Greek mainland. We've got the Acropolis, obviously, which is where the um, Parthenon is. Uh, anything else uh, that we know for sure? I saw like Mount Olympus here. Olympia, that's probably one, right? Delphi could be one. They had an oracle at Delphi. It was um, one of the famous soothsayers of the ancient world. Okay, we'll come back to that one because I think we can probably work that out. National holidays celebrated in Greece. Okay. Uh, Assumption of Mary, Easter Monday, Christmas, Labor Day. Uh, I saw a couple of others here which looked like the Revolution Day. And what would the last one be? You can probably see it. I'm just trying to find it myself. Uh, Ochi Day. I'm not sure what that is, but sounds cool. Uh, five Greek teams that have participated in the UEFA Champions League. So we've got AEK, Olympiakos, Panathinaikos. Uh, what else looks like a football team? PAOK. And Larissa, maybe? Countries that border Greece, Bulgaria, 
Turkey, Albania, and Macedonia, which uh, should be North Macedonia according to sport guidelines, but I guess the quiz hasn't been updated since then. Three sports, Greece won medals at a 2016 Olympics, so athletics, shooting, and gymnastics. Two Greek brands of beer. Hmm, this one I'm not sure of. Nothing jumps out at me here. Okay, we'll come back to that and, oh, back to the Greek islands now, okay. I think Chios is an island. Naxos is an island, I think. Samos is an island. Cool, okay, I think, um, I can do okay with the others. Okay, so we can do the World Heritage Site. Delphi should be one, Mount Athos. I've heard of Meteora, but I just can't place it. Uh, this looks like it should be a heritage site. I'm going to say Lugusu is the football team. I think it's um, the football team from Lugusu there. Alpha could be a brand of beer. I think Mythos, no Mythos is not the other island, that's annoying. It must be a world heritage site then. No it's not either. Beer? It was a beer. Let's say Alpha was the other beer. It doesn't fit in any of the other categories. Okay, that's that out of the way. Uh, Samoas, I think, was a Prime Minister. Uh, this Papandrew sounds familiar, as does Papademos. And Xanatakis. By the way, as always, excuse the pronunciation, please. Uh, Mitsotakis? I think the names are tending to end with Z, uh, yes, aren't they? So Karamanlis and Zolotis. Okay, that was a good strategy. And Sabitas. Amazing. Oh, nine seconds left. Gosh. Um, uh, that'll be one. Uh, Greek dishes. Uh, let's go that one, that one, that one, that one. Ah, did we run out of time? We did. That'll teach me for not looking at the clock. Okay. Uh, this is a Greek island. That's a Cephalonia. Okay. Uh, Meteor is a yeah, World Heritage Site. I should have got that. This is a dish and this is a dish. Okay. That's not too bad, 51 out of 55 considering the time troubles there. Well, let's move on to the most popular cities in Greece. And uh, yeah, this one is going to be a little bit harder for me, honestly. Uh, I was hoping there'd be cities in the previous quiz that would um, make it a bit easier, but apparently not. Right, uh, let's go... Oh no, this is the second video in a row I've done that. Um, I was trying to make it a little bit bigger. No, that is just that. No, that's not going to work, is it? There we go. Maybe a little bit smaller. Sorry. This is the uh, downside of um, having things on full screen mode. Anyway, let's go. Athens, Thessaloniki. Uh, what else do we have? We're going to have Larissa. Uh, well, if Heraklion, which is the largest city in Crete. Uh, well, let's try some of these. Oh, what about like Piraeus? Is that going to count? No, it doesn't. Uh, Petrus. Cool. Uh, okay, let's try some of these islands. Naxos. Rhodes. Rhodes is there. Brilliant. Corfu. Not Corfu. Um, Lesbos. We'll try like Olympia. Oh, um, there's one called Ionia. Gosh, this is going to be hard to spell. Oh, there we go. We got it. Perfect. After I um, did my trying to name as many countries in Europe quiz as I did a few weeks ago, I am or as many cities in Europe as I did. I went through and um, tried to read some of the biggest cities in each um, in each. Uh, country. Uh, so some of it is stuck, some of it hasn't. Is there like an Adrianopolis? Adrianopolis? No. Uh, hmm. Piraeus might count as a suburb of Athens for the purposes of this quiz. I tried Naxos, right? Yeah. Um, Athos. 
Samos? It was an island, wasn't it? Xanthi, I think, was a football team. What else did I look at in that list I looked at two weeks ago? Like Damos, is that one? Or Demos? Dimos? No. Hmm. Conth? No, the Conth canal is kind of, I think it goes through here. It's, um, which lets you, um, ships bypass this uh, peninsula here, which I'm not sure what it's called. Um, Peloponnese, maybe? Okay, I don't think I'm going to get any more. I'm not going to sit here for another two minutes trying to type out names. Um, Alexandropoli, Comatini, Cirrus, Kavala, Caterini, Turakala, Volos, Egorino, Chalcis, Kabata, Chadia. No, I wouldn't have got any of those, so we made the right call in um, not doing that. Uh, right, so where were we? On to the next quiz, which is going to be the largest islands of Greece. So we already know some islands from the last quiz. Let's see how many we can remember. Corfu is the one up the northwest. Uh, Crete is the big one at the bottom here. Uh, we're going to have Naxos, Samos, Lesbos, uh, Eubios, was that one? Oh gosh, spelling is going to be a problem. Eubios, or oh, Rhodes, obviously. Cool. Um, what's this island here? Oh man, I should know more of these Greek islands, to be honest. Santorini? Is that even Greek? <laughs> Maybe it's Italian. Sorry. Uh, Samos, Lesbos, Naxos, Rhodes. Corfu, Crete. I know one of the island groups is called the Dodecanese. And there's also these islands which are like super close to the Turkish um, mainland, which is really interesting. I think Turkey is kind of try to reclaim them sometimes yeah the history of like turkey and greece is like a history of shifting borders and population exchanges um going back to when greece was independent in the early 19th century i think they were one of the first countries to break away from the ottoman empire uh right but i'm just stalling because i can't think of any more islands is it like you maybe i'm spelling it right but it's just not a big enough island Just trying to Damos. <laughs> I seem convinced that I have heard that uh, those combination of letters before at some point, but um, I'm not sure in what meaning. Okay, next up, Damos Roads, Lesbos, Crete, Corfu. Hmm. I'm going through the letters of the alphabet now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. No. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere further, so let's um, call this quiz, I think. Thesos, Lemnos, I probably could have got. Okay, Euboa, E U B O E A. That's the big one by Greece, that would be, um, or by the mainland, that would be helpful to remember. Lemnos, I probably could have got, and Euboa. I could give it to myself, but I'm not going to, because spelling is uh, important. E U B O E A. Good to know. Cool. Uh, with that in mind, with that uh, in the bag, let's move on to the official Greece quiz, which is one of these 50 um, questions about Greece which is always a lot of fun so uh let's see here the official name here let's just oh no we've got the internet country code which is gr official name could be like republic of greece that's always worth a shot no uh oh it's like the hellenic republic isn't it 
there we go perfect uh, flag color it's pretty obvious blue and white the president and prime minister i'm not sure about right now and i don't know the official model or the national anthem but of course we know the capital city is athens official language will be greek and that's also the denonym independence from the ottoman empire which we just talked about empire and independence day they want the specific day not the date right okay currency at the moment is the euro and the former currency is the drachma greatest conqueror well it's subjective but i guess it's going to be alexander the great second largest city is thessaloniki and what's the third largest is it heraklion or patras patras perfect uh who developed the socratic method that would be our friend socrates and the academy of athens founder is plato and the formal logic founder could be aristotle Aristotle. Excellent. Uh, bordering country, uh, Turkey, Bulgaria, uh, Macedonia, and Albania. Highest point? Well, I'm going to guess the only mountain I know in Greece, which is Mount Olympus. And the lowest point, I guess, is sea level. Excellent. Uh, largest religious domination will be Orthodox, Greek Orthodox. Excellent, and the ancient wonders of the world, we're going to have the, well, there's only two of them, I feel like there should be more, but the Colossus of Rhodes will be one, and the other one will be the Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Cool, primary continent is Europe, age of suffrage, I'm guessing 18, Olympic host years were 1896 and 2004, drives on the right, largest island is Crete, second largest island, E-U-B-O-E-A. Perfect, look at that. And the third largest island I'm guessing is Corfu. No. Um, Naxos, Samos, Lesbos. Lesbos, we got there, perfect. Uh, the Oracle was at Delphi. Most popular sport I'm guessing is football. And the largest lake, I have no idea. I'm presuming the asterisk means it's um, shared with another another country like Macedonia or Albania presumably our largest stadium let's try Olympic Stadium that's always a good bet and the bordering sea will be the Aegean the Adriatic no not the Adriatic I guess it's not um, that's further up by Croatia and Slovenia uh, but definitely the Mediterranean Sea Cool, and there's two more seas. What would they be? Okay, long distance running event is the marathon. Main building of the apocal apocalypse is the Parthenon. Cool, uh, famous battle of 300 Spartans is the Mopoli. Uh, the Mopoli. Hmm. This is going to be a problem to spell, isn't it? Uh, Thermop... Uh, huh, there is a Y in there somewhere, I'm certain. Thermopoly... Hmm. I'm not going to spend the next three minutes trying to spell, <laughs> spell Thermopoly. Let's just say Salamis, just in case. Maybe it isn't Thermopoly. No, it is. It, I'm sure it is. Because it was against the Persians in a mountain pass. I mean, they made the movie F300 about it. I'm sure most of you have seen that. Uh, the Minoan Eruption Volcanic Island. I don't know that one. Let's try a few islands. Lemnos. Lesbos. Samos. Uh, no, I don't know what that would be, actually. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to get any of these first four. The President, Prime Minister, Motto or Official Anthem. Independence Day. I mean, I could get it if you gave me enough time. I would just go through all um, 365 <laughs> days in the year. Or 366. Maybe it was a leap year. I'm not going to get the largest lake. The bordering sea, though, I feel like I should be able to get that. So the Mediterranean is at the bottom, of course. The Aegean is like to the east of Greece, and the Sea of Crete, I presume, is around Crete. 
Ionian. Perfect. And let's just try Anatolian C. No. Okay, that's 41 out of 50. That's not terrible. And I'll give myself partial credit for the 300 Spartans. It just the mop. I lay. Okay, so it all went to um. Uh, went to pot at the end there, and this was Santorini. Okay, <laughs> I had Santorini. I tried in the last quiz, but uh, no dice. Okay, this is the Metoan Sea, Lake Prespa. Independence Day was March twenty fifth, eighteen twenty one, and then we've got the president is Katerina Sakalopoulou, and the prime minister is Kyriakos Misotakis. Official motto, motto, freedom or death, and the national anthem is hymn to liberty. Awesome. Cool, so now we'll move on to our last quiz. Uh, I was trying to find a slideshow quiz of like Greek cities or uh, national attractions, but I couldn't find one on Sporkle. So instead, just because we haven't done much with ancient Greece, I thought we'd just do the Greek gods. So I think we've got uh, to just identify the gods based on their portrayal in ancient art. So, I think I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so this is the god of the sea, which is Poseidon. Poseidon? Oh no, maybe it's not. I thought it was the, this was like a, um, a whale or something, but this is actually Apollo in his chariot, isn't it, I think. Or not. Hmm, okay. Uh, this is Hermes, because he's got the winged boots. This is a warrior, so this could be Ares, the god of war. Uh, I'm not sure who that one is. And that is the hunter, which is Artemis. Perfect. Cool, this is, she's playing music. She's got a crow. Or a raven, perhaps. Maybe Hera. Or Athena. No, uh, Ceres? No, Ceres is Demeter in Greece, isn't she? Um, hmm. Come back to that one. Okay, this is another female god. Oh, is this Aphrodite? No, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. This looks like it could be Hera. She looks kind of regal and queen-like. No? Okay. Oh, no, that's corn, so that might be Demeter. Yeah, perfect. She was the god of the harvest, I think. Uh, who's this person? you got musician, so it could be Apollo, I suppose. Or is that a woman? It's a bit hard to tell. Okay, that's another female. This is a man riding a donkey. It's a person riding a lion. Oh gosh, this is uh, not going as well. Let's say this one is Zeus. Okay, there has to be a Zeus here, right? It could be Zeus. Yeah, that's Zeus. Okay, so we had Zeus. We haven't had Hera yet, so let's try and see if we have any Hera. There we go, Hera, the queen, uh, Zeus's wife. Uh, we have had Demeter, but we haven't had Athena. That's not Athena. Well, we tried Athena for this one, right? Athena, perfect. And we haven't had Aphrodite. So this actually looks like it could be Aphrodite. Perfect. Right, uh, who... We haven't had Apollo. Am I spelling Apollo wrong? I don't think so. Uh, or maybe we did have it. <laughs> Just forgot it. Okay, we need a Hades anyway. Is this Heracles? Or Hercules is the Roman way of doing it. I'm just... Because I think Heracles murdered a lion or was associated with a lion at some point. Um, okay, let's try Hades for all of these. No, okay. Um, Poseidon? There we go, that was Poseidon. I must have spelled it incorrectly first up. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Um, 
Histia. She was an Olympian god. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, ooh. There was a Hephaestus. But I don't know if that's spelt correctly. In fact, I would strongly suggest it's not. Hmm. Hera, Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena, Demeter, Hestia. I think those were the female gods in the Greek pantheon. Or Parthenon. Pantheon? Parthenon. <laughs> uh, and then in terms of male gods, there was Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Hermes, Hephaestus, Apollo. Oh, Dionysus may be one of these. Um, Dionysus. Well, this could be Dionysus. He's got like a goblet of wine there. Perfect. Um, this person has a harp. Uh, Penelope. Uh, Persephone. I'm just trying to pull out names from. Greek mythology now that I know. Hmm, no, I don't think I'm going to get that one and this one. Pan. Uh, I tried Hades. Apollo. No. What's this guy got? Like some kind of like metal forge thingy. Hephaestus. Oh gosh, I'm so bad at spelling this. Uh, Hephaestus. So I, I know this is annoying to watch me spelling things incorrectly. Um, I'm 75% sure this is the answer. Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. H E P H A E S T U S. Okay, that is good to know. And what was the other one I got wrong? Apollo. Apologies. I was certain this was a woman. Um, but uh, live and learn. It makes sense actually because I think Apollo was the uh, possibly the god of musicians but don't quote me on that. Alright guys that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much for tuning in and uh, I certainly learned a lot more about Greece than I knew before. I know a couple more of the islands and I know that um, well I know. I want to say I know how to spell Hephaestus but actually I don't <laughs> I will forget it um, we will have the poll up for the next country quiz in a couple of days time uh, like I said until then we'll have a few Olympics quiz in the build up to the um, uh, kick off to the Tokyo Olympics which will be a relatively somber affair I would think but the quizzes should be fun and until then thank you very much for commenting, subscribing, liking etc I really appreciate it and hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.